What I want to do in this video is try to get a good understanding of how the US federal income tax rate schedule works, and also what people mean when they say tax brackets, or what does it mean to be in a tax bracket. So let's say that I make $100,000, and I'm single, and I'm not going to go into the deductions or anything fancy like that. So let's say I make $100,000 thousand dollars in a given year. And these numbers will change as the tax code changes, but the general idea is the same thing, although the details might change. So the way the rate schedule works is that the first eight thousand three hundred and fifty of my hundred thousand dollars will be taxed at ten percent. So the first eight thousand three hundred and fifty dollars will be taxed at ten percent. So I'll be paying what well, that's pretty easy to calculate. I'll pay eight hundred and thirty five dollars on that first on that first $8,350. Now the next 25,600 or the next from 8,350 to 33,950 that will be taxed at 15%. That will be taxed at 15%. So this amount right over here I will have to pay 15% on that. And so that the difference between 33,950 and 8,350 is 26,000 25,600. So it's 25,600 times 15%. I'll calculate it all at the end using a calculator. Now, the the next 48,300 dollars is going to be taxed at 25%. So let me draw that over here. So the next this next slug right over here is going to be taxed at 25%. So this is the difference between 82,250 and 33,950. That's 48,300. So it's going to be 48,300 times 25%. And then finally, the remainder, the amount above 8,250, since I don't get into the next bracket above that, this part right here is going to be taxed at 28%. So this part right over here is going to be taxed at 28%. And let me get my trusty calculator out to figure out what that is. So if that's going to be taxed at, so the difference between $100,000 and 82,250. So 100, 100,000 dollars minus 82,250 is 17,750. So it is. 17,750 times 28%. And now I could use the calculator to calculate all of these. So it's going to be, let's do it all at once, 17,750 times 28%. So I'll say that is 0.28 plus 48,300. 48,300 times 25%, 0.25, plus 25,600, 25,600, times 15%, 0 0.15, finally plus $835, plus $835. I'm going to pay $21,720. So this, the sum of all of these, in total, I'm going to pay 21,000. I already forgot the number. 21,700, dollars And I want to make sure you don't have the misconception. Notice you only pay the 28% on the incremental amount when you enter that bracket. You don't pay this 28% on the entire $100,000, just on the increment above 8,250. You don't pay the 25% on the entire amount, just on the increment between 33 and 82.